Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we got something real special. We're going back to the roots. I love making like the, the weirdest, uh, checking out the weirdest Transformers and we're, <laughs> I got a real weird one here. So yeah, this is called the Armor Guard. That's it. I mean, <laughs> I've looked everywhere to see if I could find any information. Who made this? Where it comes from? What does it represent? Anything? I could not find anything at all. The only thing that I know is that uh, where I bought this on uh, the uh, Sir Toys website, it's called Armor Guard. Armor Guard. That's it. No individual names. No brand. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone has info about this, let me know because I'm really curious. So yeah, the Armor Guard is a set of six uh, army vehicles and they are really cool. They are like sort of uh, chibi looking, mini miniature, cartoony, but they are really great. So yeah, first off we have the guns. So accessories, bunch of guns, I mean small bag like this, Oop, drop two. And yeah, they are pretty decent. They all are uh, just plastic, nothing super serious about it. We got a nice little pistol right here. And they do seem to be able to combine somehow. Oops. <laughs> and yeah, we have another one here. Just plain plastic. Now, I don't know how to assemble this. There's no instruction, like I said. So, yeah, <laughs> because yes, they have individual bots, but they also combine, so that's really cool. You have this, which looks like a stock, I don't know. Can I plug this in here? No. I have no idea where everything goes, so. <laughs> we have this one right here, which looks exactly like the other one, I guess. So, yeah, we got two pistols that are identical, so maybe we can put them on this side I don't know I am I'm just testing because like I said it's completely new to me <laughs> so yeah uh, what do we do with this uh, plug it here maybe this goes maybe here and this one what uh, the tip of the gun no I don't know <laughs> this maybe I have no idea <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing all right the vehicles this is what we were waiting for so yeah we have a nice little jet really cool looking the plastic is actually pretty decent doesn't feel too uh, too cheap you know so yeah, really cool looking jet no gimmick no wheels no anything just a jet we have a uh, missile launcher truck Pretty cool. We do have a little bit of paint here and there. The American Army logo thingy here. We do have a missile pod that can open up. There's no missile, of course, but, you know. We have a tiny helicopter, the blade does spin, but it's, you know, super, uh, <laughs> it's super slow. Uh, the gun can move up and down of that one. Uh, these move a little bit, the spinning blade, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Ah, cool. Again, not a lot of paint, just have the uh, little, uh, what it's called here? Zinlex Zin 2021, made in China. Mm. Still no idea what it is. <laughs> we have a nice looking uh, Jeep, and we even have the tiny cannon right here, which reminds us of Hound, of course. <laughs> oh, we have the seats right here, so you can open up the seats. We have the little st steering wheel on the right side, which is kind of odd. Uh, yeah, European, I guess. <laughs> it does roll, of course. Uh, this one doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have wheels, but doesn't roll too much. No roll, no roll. We have next a little boat, tiny little boat with cannons in here. A little uh, flag again, and we have like these giant I don't know torpedoes thingy here. <laughs> so yeah, again, nothing to it. And finally, we have a tank, and the tank does have the turret, spins 360, so, yeah, can move back, forward, the cannon uh, can move a little bit, it's ratchety, so, eh, eh, yeah. 
do have a couple of wheels. So, yeah. <laughs> they are really small and cute, though. I really dig this. <laughs> Oops, it's all out of camera, but yeah. Really cute. Really cute. Uh, maybe you can do a, a small quick comparison. So for a comparison here we have the legend size brawn from Titans Return and here we have like the deluxe ho uh, hoist from uh, Kingdom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a Kingdom, this is a uh, Earthrise. But uh, yeah, uh, well, legend size pretty pretty good. They are a little bit beefy for legend size, maybe this one a little bit closer. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty legend size ish. <laughs> so, yeah, we can start with the transformation into robot mode. So, uh, let's start with the tank. Uh, tank's robot mode, uh, pretty interesting. Take this here, and we have a head, and just pull it out. Pull on this. As you pull it, you want to rotate it. Like, sort of like this. There you go. It's kind of odd, but there you go. And then you have like the head, Oop. this, you need to lift it up, and you have like this peg underneath the head that will play a plug here, there you go, and we have the arms that you need to pull on them, but don't pull too hard, because it will peg off, so there you go, and there you go, we have the little robot, tank mode. Now he doesn't have a lot of articulation, the head doesn't move, the only the arms can uh, rotate like this. Uh, the legs pretty stiff -y also. We do have a peg right here for pegging one of the pistol. So there you go. Take this, peg it in. There you go. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's go with the boat now. Uh, boat a little bit more intricate. Take this, pull this down like this and it, there's like pegs in here that will peg in like this uh, you want to lift this up a little bit just to unpeg the well this like this just to unpeg those from the side like this pull them out like this and these you have like the arms right here so you can bring them like this bring this all the way down also spin the arm around bend it and now you have like this part right here you need to slide this down bring this down bring this down and you have like the robot head <laughs> this one is actually pretty pretty cute so yeah not much articulation doesn't move when you have uh, articulation of the elbows and maybe the ears <laughs> uh, yeah there's no rotation it can move up and down but these uh, sort of plug in here like there you go. We can give him a gun. He does hold it in his hand. There you go. Do, 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 do. So we have the boat. The Jeep now, the not hound figure. <laughs> uh, pull on this, lift this up like this. I think this, uh, the arms right here are hidden here. So you want to flip them down like this and pull them out. So flip those down, pull them out, and now you have like this plate right here, you lift it up, bring it down, and then you plug this in here, like this, and finally you have the head that you have to pop out, there you go, so we have this, that hound figure kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you, you can put the arms like this, they, they can move, but they will be hindered by the bumper. So not a lot of articulation between, beside this. And, yeah, uh, legs doesn't move either. We can give him a gun. Like this, and we plug it on the side of the hand. There you go. Might not be the best gun. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, whatever. Hit a holes. So, let's put this here, and we go with the helicopter. So, not blackout, I guess. <laughs> Lift the uh, cockpit here. Bring the cockpit down like this. Unfold uh, this, like this, and bring the cannon here. 
like this and rotate the legs around like this bring the arms forward close this and you have the reveal of the head and now you have the tail that you can bring down like this and that's pretty much it so you have the helicopter spinning blade with a lot of friction the head sculpt arms can only rotate like this uh, legs can bend I guess and move side to side so it does have a bit more of articulation <laughs> let's give him a gun again pegs on the side there you go so <laughs> it's cute there you go next up the missile launcher truck first off you want to unfold these unfold the leg or the, the head I mean bring this forward Oops. You have like the hand here that you need to pull out like this. Same thing here, in here. Doesn't have a hand. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a hand, but also doubles as a cannon. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up, you bring the legs down like this. Bring this up like this. Bring these up like this. And then you have like this plate right here that you flip around to cover the hole. So there you go, you have the robot transformed. <laughs> and yeah, decent also. Do have rotation here, uh, like this, like this. Swivel maybe a little bit of the hands. And uh, yeah, not much of the legs. Well, we do have like this, maybe like this, but not that much. As for his gun, is going to be the one with the peg hole. Because he doesn't have any pegs on the hands or on the side, but does have hole here. So you can peg the gun like this on him. So, yeah, there you go. And finally, the little jet. <laughs> little jet, you bring this down like this. And those are the feet, so you flip them up like this. Bring the arms down arms down and then you flip this part right here which reveals the head and then you can bring the jet uh, tail wing tail fin back and there you go we have the jet mode we can give him gun there's a peg hole here there you go not much of articulation in the head maybe uh, just have the arms that can go up and down legs like this and feet can move like this so yeah pretty cool <laughs> I'm not a fan of the tail fin sticking out like that, but yeah, okay, still looks good. So there you go, we have all of the armor guard robots done. <laughs> and they are pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Size-wise, here's a uh, deluxe uh, Studio Series uh, Jazz for comparison, and uh, I could take real quick transformation of brawn so there you go so eh, brawn's still a little bit bigger so yeah they're still pretty legend size ish uh, yeah <laughs> now combining them into armor guard <laughs> so yeah they do combine so yeah, this one makes an arm, so let's remove the gun, bring this down, close this in, and basically all we do is lift the jet pack up and bring this down and uh, lift those up also. And there you go, we have one arm. This is going to be the claws of the hand. And that's it. So we have one arm done, put them here. This one makes also another arm, pretty easy again. So flip this up and uh, flip these back, remove the gun, flip this back, bring this down, uh, rotate this like this. And you have like the claws right here, which are the hands again. You need to flip them out like this and they are really tight. There you go. So we have this, and the tail, they tell you to uh, bring it like this. I, I don't 
I don't get it too much, but yeah, okay. So we have the other arm done. Oink. Uh, this one won't hold too much. Yeah. Uh, next up, what do we have? The feet. So we have one feet here. So the G, the tank is pretty easy. Close this up. Close this up. And uh, we're pretty much done. This can go all the way around. And this will sort of stick in here. So well, that's pretty much it. You just have the tank into a leg mode. Next leg mode is gonna be the Jeep. So remove the gun, close this in, unpeg this, close the arms in. Basically returning to Jeep, but you re-peg this in here, like this, like this, and we have another leg done. All right, next up we have the waist. So him is the waist, remove the gun. Close this in, close the arms with the hands in, close the arms in, like this, like this, bring this back, close the head in, like this. Uh, next up, we want to bring this down. Uh, where is it? Uh, the connectors. I want to bring this all the way like this, and you have like these notches on the side that will peg into each other. This will close down here. Or leave it open this will go up here and this will go here and bring this down and bring the this down so yeah we have this done like this this is supposed to peg it in better but yeah okay here we have it so we have the bottom legs done the waist and the torso is gonna be him so remove the gun lift this up uh, close this in like this reveal the head bring it forward these goes all the way like this and will just rest on top of his head now the the fists what I like to do is bring them inside here like this in the hole and then you repeg this in on the side like this so same thing here, bring this forward, bring this, uh, put the arm in, and then you peg it on to the side right here. A little bit hard. There you go, like this, this. You can lift the ears up, which will make sort of cannons. And that's it. Combination, so we take the torso, uh, we can plug in the legs, like, oh wait, the legs need to bring this all the way here. We have like the peg here that will peg onto the side right here. And snap, same thing here. Snap, there you go. Alright, so the legs, you bring this here and you have like the pegs on the hood. And these will peg in like this, or maybe on the other side. There you go, we got one leg, bring the tank, plug it in, there you go. Like this, let's move the camera up a little bit. Next up for the torso, we have peg here, and you peg it onto the cockpit right here, like this. Same thing on the other side, and you have the peg on the cockpit, plug it in, plug it in. And finally you have like these two tabs that will slide and connect into the here so bring it down and there you go we have arm guard completed <laughs> he looks so good now yeah all you have to do is just uh, combine the guns I guess like I said I'm not sure how they do combine officially I'm just winging it winging it because <laughs> I have no clue there you go uh, what else uh, this bags here and this will peg where? Here, I guess. I don't know. Or, yeah. I don't know. I'm just doing it. So you have a little, the peg here, and you can peg it onto the arms right here. There you go. Oh, pew, pew, pew. <laughs>
<laughs> and he is actually pretty damn cute. I love this. It's original. It's fun. The plastic quality is pretty decent, like I mentioned. Uh, legs can move forward. Uh, no bend. Oops. That connector is not hyper solid, but it holds like this. Uh, we do have the arms that rotate like this. We do have elbow, I guess. The claw can open and close. Uh, the head can rotate. A nice bucket head. Again, the other arms, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, this keeps popping out. But yeah, the the other arms, pretty much the same thing. Elbow. This one is also a rotation, so that's cool. Have the claws. So yeah, really cool. Really dig like this. Like I said, the connector is not the hardest for the torso, but the rest is pretty solid. <laughs> Here's a size comparison now with Studio Series Jazz, and yeah, he looks pretty small now. And let's bring back Braun, which was there, pretty much the same size. <laughs> yeah, pretty damn cool. I love this. The design is interesting. It's original. It's fun. Uh, the robot molds are pretty cute. Uh, the, the the I love the bucket head. <laughs> it just looks so good. <laughs> like I said, the plastic is really solid. So if you want to give this to your smaller children, it's gonna be perfect. It's not like Fisher Price quality, but it's pretty solid too. It's fun. And it looks good. I mean, <laughs> I saw this on the website and I just fell in love with it real quick. Like, I just had to get it, you know? It's so good. So cool. Now you can move this if you want, like like this. I don't... I just like keeping the cannon up so it makes a gun. But, uh, yeah. Real cool. Arm guard. I do recommend this. It's, a, it's just a fun, cute figure. It's not... It's really cheap. I got this from Sear Toys. Uh, go and check it out. I got, I'm going to put the link in the description below the video. So, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Go get it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.